Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now, this one is specifically for classic users. So we're working on a feature that we're not sure whether we're gonna ship or not. We wanted to demo it here to get some feedback from you guys. And what it allows you to do is import your classic project into Elements. Now, there are some big caveats around that. The fact we're not importing con content just yet, but um, we think it's gonna be pretty useful, but let me demo it to you and then you can give us feedback and tell us what you think. So uh, I'm going to open this classic project and this is opened up in um, classic. So this is the real Mac software project for our website. It's built currently it's built in classic and stacks and uh, there's some code pages in here, things like that. But it's all set up and we've got a lot of information here in the in how it's set up along with uh, there's some scripts in there and along with all this meta information and things like this and what we thought would be really nice is if you could take your classic project open it up in elements and retain some of this information like all these resources things like that so uh, let's quit out of classic as we don't want to work in this anymore at the moment we want to go over to elements so I'm going to launch elements and this feature is just in my build so we're and we want your feedback on this. So what I'm going to demo is I'm going to go up to file. I'm going to import classic project, and then I'm going to pick the classic demo project that I just showed you in classic, and we'll open that in Elements. Boom! So it's opened and converted straight away. Now, like I said, we haven't imported any content. While this could be possible, and we could import some of the content, there's a lot of different page types in Classic and plugins, so nothing's impossible. But we don't want to spend the time doing that if no one's going to use this. So let me demo you what we have done, and then you can let me know if you think it is useful. So. Right away, you can see we've imported all the folder structure from the Classic project. So if you were wanting to port your site your site over, you already got the basic building structure there. So I've got home, classic, getting started, and this is all exactly the same um, as in my classic project. Let me just open my classic project back up so you can have a look. So classic project here, and you can see all those pages. We come back over here, and again, we've got all the same pages. Now let's take a little closer look at what else we get. So in the inspector here, you can see I've got, it's pulled across the browser title and the page title. It's kept the folder name and file name as well. And if we go into the extra code area, it's also pulled in all the scripts as well, which is really, really handy. This is, if you're coming from classic to elements, this would save you a lot of time, I think. Um, also, if we go onto the SEO area in the Elements project, you can see it's pulled all this across as well as the resources. So this could, if you've got a big site, this could potentially be a big time saver. Um, yeah, and it would really help you get started to recreate that structure so you don't have to do it from scratch. So those are those two bits. Then if we go to the site settings, it's also pulled in the title, the web address here the logo, logo alt, and that's not all. It's also bought in the web icons. Now I didn't have them all set up in classic, like in the project, I hadn't set these ones, but I had set these and they've come across just fine. Um, so that's great. What else has come across? If I go to my resources area, all the resources I had in the classic project, they've all come across as well. You can see them here. Uh, so there we are. They've all come across just fine. So they're ready to go and ready to be used and imported. So this um, really is quite a phenomenal feature, really, to uh, if you've got a classic project. So resources have all come across. That's amazing. And also my publishing destinations have also came across as well. So if I go to publishing, you can see here I've got the live server SFTP details and the local export location I had set up. So it's brought those across as well. So this makes getting started super, super quick. So let me just go ahead and add a page here. This is just our test page, uh, just because I wanted to demo some things here. Um, I'm gonna hide it from the menu and uh, let me set up a different workspace. I'm gonna go with my pro layout I have set up. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Um, and using um, our pre-built templates, I'm just gonna drop in a sticky menu 
boom and you can see here I've already got uh, the menu structure so the pages that were hidden are hidden and everything's looking pretty good so this would be a quick way to I've opened my project drop in a sticky menu and boom I've already got my navigation here um, starting to be built you know and we could what we could do um, I think the we specify an SVG here but really what we want um, because of the old because it's an old project I'm actually using an image so let's drop an image in as the logo and we'll go ahead and find the logo we were using on the site boom there we are and let's just make that a little bit smaller we can specify this in pixel size so 200 px probably smaller than that let's go 120 px um, and let's change the color of this button as well and I'm really just showing you this to show you how quickly you could kind of get your own site going uh, and let's change that to visit store whoops there we go so let's preview that now so now I've got my um, real Mac logo and I've got my pages and I've got a visit store button and this has all come together quite quickly you know um, and I could use some of these other templates to uh, put in a banner up the top here or actually let's go for an image boom and I could look at some of my imported images here and we could just use any of these as the banner image there uh, let's use that one boom um, you know and then I can just continue customizing this and quite quickly I'm actually building up my um, or the the real Mac software site I'm just rebuilding the classic project in elements now and the wonderful thing is I've obviously got all these pages that I can work on and um, set and if we wanted this across the entire site we would just switch it into a global drop it onto all the pages and then it would all be sunk up so quite quickly I could build up the real Mac site in elements and um, yeah and then I'd be good to go forward in elements so I know we keep talking about this but we really think elements is the future because there's just so much investment going into this there's a lot of third parties building things for elements as well um, because I think everyone can see where this is all going so if you're still on classic really think about moving to elements have a think about that and would you find this use this feature useful um, and what else would you like to see what do you think is really important for you what's stopping you from bringing your classic site over to elements so that's it for today I was just going to demo this we've got a lot of new features uh, I'm looking forward to demoing in elements that hopefully we're going to show off some of those later in the week but I just wanted to do this very focused dev diary video all focused on this kind of classic import so that's it for today just a quick one uh, we will be back very soon with some new features in elements all right thanks for watching this and I will see you soon Cheers, bye.